welcome back to the Keep Market and welcome back to my Avengers Endgame celebration. Now guys, ever since I saw Avengers Endgame, there has been one prop that I thought I need to make. I need to have it in the Keep Market and I need to share how to make it with you guys. I am talking of course about the Stark Power Gauntlet or Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. The one that the Avengers create to undo the snap from Avengers Infinity War. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to create your very own Stark Power Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. Okay guys, to start off, I'm going to create an Iron Man hand to go for my gauntlet. So I'm using a Peppercora file. Now a Peppercora file is basically a 3D model that people use to create um, paper crafts. Uh, an amazing shout out to Fat Man who created a Iron Man hand easy tutorial. I'll leave his link in the description below. What you need to do is to print out these files, cut them out and then copy them onto one millimeter thick foam because this is how we're going to create that Iron Man style hand. Make sure you label your pieces so you know which parts are there and I always have Peppercora up so I can see the 3D models so I know where they go. What you want to do then is start hot gluing these pieces together to start forming your hand. With our foam hands on the shake shape, we are going to hot glue this onto a gardener's glove. This will strengthen that hand gauntlet and also give you a bit of mobility and something to stick it to when we attach the wrist part. hand pieces now stuck together it's time to do the forearm so for that guys I'm going to be using camping mat foam you can pick these up in most shops it's 0.6 centimeter thickness and I'm just going to shape this around my wrist to get my size obviously your arms will be different size to mine so you can edit yours to fit your arm once that's done I'm going to hot glue them straight to the bottom part of the glove so my hand and forearm are together so I have the basic shape of my gauntlet start on the detailing. So the first bit of detailing is the interlocking section across the forearm. So for that I'm cutting out a trapezium shape that's the same length as the gauntlet out of the camping mat foam. I'm going to mark this in place and then once I hot glue this in I will use thinner one millimeter thick foam to stick over the top to give it that interlocking style we see from the movie. To make the hand and the forearm feel more of a piece, I'm adding a section to the top part of the hand. This will not only hot glue to the forearm, but this will where I can add my detail in, such as my infinity stones. I'm gonna hot glue this piece straight onto the top and I'm using the camping foam to give it the same thickness. Next, I'm using the thinner foam to cut out patterns to stick straight onto the gauntlet to add that detailing like we see from the movie.
as you can see I finished with all my detailing so I've used thin foam to give it this kind of effect I've got my silver parts here which go across which I've cut and just lined across here then you can see I've added an extra part here from seeing images from watching the film so many times now and seeing leaked images online. Just some extra features. These parts may be wrong until I see HD versions, but this is the kind of style that I can get from the images I've seen. At the top you can see I've added this section for the stone to go here and cut out sections for the infinity stones. I've also added a bit of detailing and used a solder to melt in holes so the infinity stones will fit in nicely. All this detailing plus the extra covers over the fingers where the gold sections are are all used by cutting out thin bits of foam and then gluing them on. With this done, it's time to cover the entire thing in Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip is a rubber sealant that will seal all of the foam in place. It'll also give it a much nicer shine when you spray it with paint. After giving it three coats of Plasti Dip, while that dries, I'm gonna move on to the Infinity Stones. Now guys, I'm using the same Infinity Stones I use for my Infinity Gauntlet video. These are acrylic crystals you can pick up for decoration for weddings, etc decorations in your house so guys what I'm gonna do is color these in with sharpie pens the great thing is when you color these with sharpies they go transparent so color your six stones in ready to hot glue after you spray paint now the plastic dip has sealed the entire thing it's ready to paint what I'm going to do first is cover it in a white primer, then I'm going to use masking tape to cover the parts I want to spray silver. Once they are sprayed and dried, I can cover them over with masking tape to add my red spray. Then I'm going to go over it with gold and silver sharpies to bring out that effect and finish the gauntlet off by hot gluing the infinity stones in place. And with that done guys, we are ready for the final reveal. Stark Power Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. Guys, super happy how this turned out. A super easy and cheap build to make. Now guys, a little secret. I started making this the week Endgame came out. And I only just recently finished spray painting it letting it dry, taking the finishing touches off, and editing this video. While editing this video, Hasbro and Hot Toys released their very own versions of this gauntlet. And that, guys, was the very first HD images of the gauntlet I had seen, because all of the images that I've used were either from memory, from seeing the film a few times, or seeing leaked images or videos online. So guys, there are a few parts of detailing that are, that are wrong, but you can obviously change them by seeing the HD images. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can see those images too, to help you modify yours to be a bit more movie authentic. But guys, I'm super happy how this turned out. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for weekly content at The Geek Market. Remember, it's your cave, your rules, and I'll see you next time.